casinos in the world. I'm Chandra Watson Wilson, and I serve as the Director of Strategic Partnerships for the Chicago Minority Supplier Development Council, better known as Chicago MSDC. Chicago MSDC is an affiliate of NMSDC, the National Minority Supplier Development Council, and we have a mission to connect certified minority-owned firms with major buying organizations to create sustainable business opportunities and relationships. I am honored to serve as your moderator this afternoon. Um, we have an esteemed uh, panel of experts that are going to join us uh, this afternoon. They're online with me today. I am in great company. Um, I will let the, allow those uh, panelists to introduce themselves, I'll tell you a little bit about their organizations and their roles. And I'm going to start with uh, Miss Anita Hagen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anita Hagen. I am the Business Development Manager at the MBDA Center here in Chicago. It is funded by the U.S. Department of Commerce, the Minority Business Development Agency in Washington, D.C., and it is operated by the Chicago Minority Supplier Development Council. The MBDA is an entrepreneurially focused and innovative organization committed to wealth creation in minority communities and the only federal agency de dedicated to establishing and growing minority-owned businesses in America. Thank you, Anita. Next, we'll move on to Irma Lopez. Thank you, Chandra. My name is Irma Lopez. I am the Outreach Manager for the Business Enterprise Program, currently uh, run by the Illinois Department of Central Management Services. We work to certify women, minorities, and persons with disabilities. And we also administer the Veteran Business Program that serves to certify businesses owned by veterans and service disabled owned small businesses. Thank you, and I look forward to chatting with you all today. Great. Thanks, Irma. Next, we'll move on to Mr. John Seifers. John. Thank you, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is John Seifers. I serve as the Illinois Chapter President and National Secretary for Elite Service Disabled Better Known Business Network. Uh, Elite is an all-volunteer organization that's been around for a bit over 20 years with a focus on education, advocacy, and developing business opportunities for service-disabled veteran-owned businesses and their partners. Thank you. Thanks, John. Um, so as I told you, we have an esteemed group of panelists that are with us joining us today. Um, and so we'll go right into our program because we've got lots of great information that we're going to share. Um, so John, since you're actually uh, up and you're the only guy on the program, I'm going to pick on you and we'll start okay. with you first. Sure. Um, I'll go right into the question of asking why is it, uh, do you feel that major buying organizations seek to do business with uh, companies that are certified? So companies that actually have the certification have actually went the due, through the due diligence of the process. Why would a major buying organization seek to do business with companies that are certified versus those that are not? Well, I think that beyond the inherent problems with, uh, with self-certification, so to speak, um, those companies know that they're going to be dealing with a, a bona fide business that's going to help them to achieve either their corporate responsibility goals or other supplier diversity uh, initiatives tied to uh, to government mandates or whatever the case may be. And I think the certification is is key to ensuring the legitimacy of that that business's status. That's exactly right, John. I would agree. Um, I know that it really helps to. Uh, prove that companies are, in fact, who they say they are, right? I think everybody I on the panel will agree with that. Um, we'll go right into the next question. Um, and Miss Irma, hello there. Hello again. Hello again. Um, next question I'll address your way. Um, what ways can major buying organizations uh, still provide assistance or support to companies that are not certified? So those companies that are still um, kind of, they're starting up, they're starting out, they don't really know much about certification. They may be in the process, uh, but they still want to get in the game. I like that, get in the game. We're doing casinos today, right? We're getting the game. Yes, I, I think that working with a larger company organization or a prime as we, we refer to them is a great uh, initiative for these smaller vendors to get certified because now they have been uh, selected or the, the almost sponsored by the larger corporation with the uh, you know 
prospect of being utilized as a smaller uh, certified vendor. Adding to what John says, you're not only being certified as a woman or minority owned business, you're being certified for the goods and services you provide. So we are establishing that you are indeed a, a well-run business, you're established, but more than anything, you are capable of providing those goods and services. So if and when you are lucky enough to already have a relationship with a prime or larger company, you're already at an advantage. And if somebody has seen the potential of your business and uh, the ability to partner with you as a BEP CMSDC certified vendor helps them meet those corporate responsibilities or goals placed on contracts. So those, those are very valuable uh, relationships to have as a small uh, business owner uh, to be identified by someone and wanting to utilize you. I think you hit it right in the nail right on the head with that one with Irma. Relationships are key. Um, what you can also know, and this is for our uh, major buying organizations and partners that are, uh, are, are that are watching today, but also for the other minority-owned businesses, remember that there is lots of assistance that's out there. There are many organizations that can provide assistance with the MBA Business Center. I know that CMS provides lots of uh, uh, education and training. Irma's team, they do an excellent job with um, they've actually pivoted very successfully with the online uh, workshops and so forth. And then John and his team, you know, if you want to know questions more about how your company be can become certified and the advantages of it, come and talk to us. We're here. We're here to help. Great stuff. Thanks, Irma. Uh, next up, uh, Anita, if you don't mind, I'm going to direct something your way. Uh, <laughs> you don't mind. You don't have a choice. Um, <laughs> You're here. Many major buying organizations seek suppliers um, that offer competitive ad advantage of being local suppliers. But oftentimes they look to seek companies or suppliers that uh, can offer uh, services nationally and internationally. What would you say the advantage is? And it's a two part question here. What would you say the advantages are of uh, being a, a local supplier or working with a local supplier? The, I would say probably the advantage of working with uh, a local supplier is the fact that they have greater control. Uh, they also uh, reduce the, you know, the supply, the cost, and, and the, also the revenue that they bring in. But mainly what they do is bring economic growth to the communities. And working with MBEs to MBEs is a greater opportunity for um, corporations to also be getting involved with that. Right, yeah, that that local uh, support that supports those communities is, is outstanding. Um, but we, of course, we know that our many of our corporate partners and so forth and major buying organizations also seek uh, companies that can um, provide national, uh, provide services or products nationally as well as internationally. Um, I know that you, Anita, you work with a group with the MBA Business Center Mm -hmm. um, that actually focuses on providing them with those tools needed to work internationally. Um, what can you tell us? Can you tell us a little bit about that and the advantages of working with uh, companies that can um, uh, provide national, international services? I gave you a mouthful, didn't I? <laughs> well, you know, um, the Chicago MSDC um, organization has uh, uh, probably about oh. 900 approximately certified MBEs. And 60% of them are capable and ready to work internationally and nationally uh, with uh, corporations. Uh, what that brings to the table is the low cost and the opportunity to bring the newness to the market much faster. And that's things that corporations are looking for is, uh, is that newness that the uh, suppliers will bring and internationally being able to do that does that much faster. That, that's that's great. So you guys, everyone in attendance, everyone that's listening, you heard it right here. There is an advantage of, of if you are not yet able to compete and provide services or products nationally or internationally, you still have a competitive advantage of being local. There's also the competitive advantage of being national and international. Um, so, so there you have it. Um, and so, um, you know, this is good stuff. This is good information. Um, then I just want to say this because we're talking about certification as well, and many of you all are in that certifying space. Um, if each of you could um, 
so what is the what is a, the greatest benefit of being uh, certified? What what what's the greatest benefit that you would say? And I am going to throw the ball. Pew! John, you're up. Catch it. Okay, okay. So I would say that the uh, one of the key benefits to certification is. Uh, it, as a business owner, it's always important to find new channels for, uh, for generating business. So certification provides access to supplier diversity programs. Uh, I think that in the public sector, it's very important for establishing the kinds of teaming relationships through bid incentives and uh, supplier diversity goals that, that bring diverse companies into that fold. And of course, certification is, is part of that. And overall, it's just an effective tool for, for building business in a, another way. Thanks, John. Irma, please share your thoughts. What would you say is the greatest advantage of, uh, of, of being certified? Um, as John put it, it, it opens the door for um, extra procurement benefits. Anyone and everyone can bid for on you know, state of Illinois opportunities. However, certain contracts have goals placed on them and that's relative to the number of vendors in the system. So the more participation we have, the higher our goals become, which in turn result in additional economic opportunity for our vendors. We also are recognized by many um, industries or entities outside of the state of Illinois. Uh, the one that always comes to mind is the Chicago Public Schools. They frequently sent vendors to us in an effort to get them certified and have an, an you know, help them be compliant with their diversity spend. Uh, it also happens to be an amazing credential to have as a business, as it shows you've been vetted by a government agency. And aside from being established as a woman, minority or person with disability or veteran, again, we're also certifying your ability to uh, produce those goods and services as a business. And Anita, finally, if you can take us home, give us, give us your input. <laughs> Thanks, Irma. I agree with my colleagues on everything they just said. What I would also add to that is that it is the great and most ultimate beginning of the best handshake you can do. Being able to handshake that certification that somebody else doesn't have is your key and your door opening to your beginning and your beginnings. There you, there you have it. Couldn't have summed it up better. Thank you so much, guys. And I want to go ahead and uh, this kind of concludes our uh, concludes our presentation for today. I want to thank Penn National Gaming Casino Chicago Land for their support and partnership, and for putting this program on. A special thanks to Kimberly Woods with Hollywood Aurora uh, Casinos and Lydia Garvey with Hollywood Joliet Casinos. Um, special, special thanks to uh, our panelists today. Uh, let's give them a round of applause. Yay! Uh, to Ms. Anita Hagen, Irma Lopez, John Cyphers. I want to thank you so much for uh, serving as, uh, as I promised, an esteemed uh, panel of experts uh, for us this afternoon. Thank you so much. And a special thank you to you, the audience, uh, for joining us. Uh, we hope that this information was helpful. Um, if you have any, uh, you know, need additional uh, questions or you wish to continue the conversation, please reach out to one of these panelists at their uh, respective agencies. Thanks again so much and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.